tonight we're going to make it the meet the balls because now we're getting requests and somebody requested meatballs. And so while making the meatballs, I have to keep certain things in mind. Number one, one of the requests was Kobe wanted meatballs and Kobe doesn't like sauce on his meatballs. So I am not going to put the meatballs in the sauce, but we're making a sauce. And these tomatoes, tomatoes. These are San Marzano tomatoes that we roasted last year in the oven. Then we put them in a super duper Vitamix mm -hmm. and I put, uh, you know, uh, basil in them and then they got frozen. And so now we've defrosted them. Look at how thick these are. It's very nice and thick. <laughs> and so for the sauce, which we have to make first and we have to light our stove because everything's manual in this house because we were solar for so long. Okay, so our iron pan, what do we do next? We put in the olive oil. Mm -hmm. So we put a couple of uh, tablespoons of olive oil. That's all you need. This is a nice, uh, just a regular German onion. Stuttgart, I think they're called, right? It could be. So that is just a regular onion, one medium-sized onion. Here's yeah. one dish we gotta wash, <laughs> right? Yeah. We're washing lots of dishes, so now you gotta get another spoon. <laughs> now we got two spoons to wash. So this is for the sauce. While we're making the meatballs, we make our sauce because it takes time. So the onion has to cook. This has to be on low because you don't want it to burn. And so for our ingredients for our meatballs, yeah. this is pork from our pigs. Thank you. Thank you for your service, pigs. Thank you for us for your service. What is their name? What did uh, uh, Kathy name Barbecue them? and crispy bacon. <laughs> so this is from probably barbecue, but it could be crispy bacon. <laughs> This is some nice uh, burger that, so this is hamburger, equal amounts of pork and burger. But you know what? If you don't have one or the other, you can still make meatballs. You can make them out of pork. You can make them out of burger. You can make them out of veal, although we don't like to do veal because it's baby calves. We have no problem killing a cow, but we can't kill a calf. So we've got that. We gotta just keep stirring these. We don't want these to burn either. So I'm gonna put those on lower. Okay. okay, so we got our pork, we got our beef. This is breadcrumbs. I'm not gonna use all these breadcrumbs probably because Holly doesn't like to eat gluten, but mm -hmm. she likes to eat my meatballs. So she said I could put breadcrumbs in, just don't put a lot, okay? And then we have all this garlic. We're probably not gonna use all the garlic mm -hmm. because Joey doesn't like garlic, so we can't put a lot of garlic in the meatballs, but, but we gotta put enough garlic in the meatballs. We have our Parmesan cheese. You can use Parmesan, mm -hmm. you can use Romano, you can use Asiago, any kind of good, good like real. tasty cheese. Real cheese. This is real cheese, though. Yes. It's not the bag cheese that has the cellulose and all the other crap or in the it. Or the stuff in the green can. Right. Oh, God, I don't even know what that is. I don't think that's cheese. <laughs> and here's the real secret ingredient, manda. We call this manda. What, what do you call it? In English, mint. Mint, but it's spearmint. It's, spear mint. Yeah. it's not like peppermint. Right. Uh, it's gotta be spearmint. Mm -hmm. So that's manda. We have some beautiful eggs. We got six eggs, mm -hmm. and the eggs come from Westminster, Westminster Feed Store. Mm -hmm. yep. Beautiful farm fresh eggs. We get them there all the time when we're not getting them from Lester's wife, Tanya. So we're gonna keep stirring this. We don't want this to burn. And then we gotta keep doing this. So the, we're just making these like saute so that they are, you know, translucent, I guess is what you mean. Yep. And then we have cento tomato paste. Mm -hmm. I like cento tomato paste 
or any kind of Italian tomato paste. That's what I usually use. Mm -hmm. And we're not making a big pan of sauce. We're only making a small pan of sauce. So one mm -hmm. of these is enough. You make a big pan of sauce, you want to put a little more onion, and you want a bigger can of paste or two mm -hmm. cans of this. So while this is cooking, we're going to put in the paste. That goes into that. This is a little labor intensive, more than I'm used to doing. Although, if I wasn't cutting everything up and putting it in bowls, I would have been done by now. But we got to do that because some doesn't go over well. Okay, so while that, that is in there, you want to put in a couple of cans of water into that. And the reason why you want to do that is because it's in the paste. Well, the paste thickens. So it's like the paste is thick, but it, it also thickens. So you have to put liquid in. So I put two or three cans of water, water in. And the reason why I do that is because my sauce, as you can see, is like incredibly mm -hmm. thick, mm -hmm. incredibly thick. And so this is now going to, we can turn this up a little bit. And this is all going to cook and get thick. See, this is really red. Mm -hmm. Those are right. really right. That's the, the orangey part. brown because right. the, they're roasted, the roasted ones San Marzano. Best mm -hmm. tomatoes to make sauce. Almost no juice. They are fabulous to make sauce with. They're very tasty too. You can get the little San Marzano ones that you can pop in your mouth. They got such an incredible flavor. They really do. Okay, now see what this looks like? See how it's like thickening? Mm -hmm. Good, right? Yep. All right, so while that is cooking, the other thing we do often is we add a little wine to everything. So I'm just putting a little bit of wine in there. That's all. Just a little bit. Just gives it a little flavor. Okay. So that is cooking up a storm. We're gonna lower that to a simmer. We want that to cook for a while. This we're just adding everything together. All right, is this my good side? All right, so we're putting the pork in for crispy bacon. Then we're putting in the beef. Look at all the things we gotta wash. Okay, then we're putting in the breadcrumbs. You know what, that's a lot. There's like eight pounds here, so we're gonna put that much breadcrumbs in. I don't use a lot of breadcrumbs anyway because I don't want it to be all bread. You know, it's like, you want it to be like meatballs. But that is really not quite enough. Sorry, Holly, I gotta put it in. And then the cheese. We like cheese. So we want to put in a little more cheese. Oop, that was plenty of cheese. And then our uh, manda. I don't know that we're using all the manda, so I got to do it by hand because I just poured some in. I guess we, you know, looks good. Okay. Then the garlic. You can't ever have enough garlic as far as I'm concerned, but we're going to go easy on the garlic. And then... We want to put in our six eggs. Now, you want to make sure the eggs are good before you do anything. Look at those beautiful colors. Yeah, That's like a light green. green. I don't know if they can see that, but beautiful eggs. The yolks, these are fabulous eggs. But don't go buy them because they don't get enough of them and I buy them. So I don't want you all to go there and buy these eggs. That's not really fair to the vendor, but I want to make sure they're there when I want them. Okay, so six eggs. That's like uh, about eight or nine pounds of uh, beef and pork, not each together. No. Okay, so now you got to mix it all up, and this is what we do here. Nice, squishy plate. Nice, squishy. And my hands were clean. 
I think I've only washed my hands about 74 times today. I'm making them. Oh, you are making I, I just have to cut that. Okay, we're good. So you can make them as big or as small as you want. We make them about that big. And at work, I have an ice cream scoop that I use when I cook for the old people. And it's so much faster. But, you know, it's made with love. It's all made with love. <laughs> so, the reason why I'm making this, and we definitely want this to be on there, is because my friend and club member, motorcycle club member, Christine Grimes and her son, made this amazing looking ciabatta bread the other day. I know. And I had so said to her, I wish I had some of that ciabatta bread because, you know, I don't make anything difficult. You know, making bread to me is just like, it's a long process. And I'm usually like in the kitchen for 20 minutes and done. So I said, I would, that looks so good. It would be great to be sopping that up you know, with some sauce and meatballs. And she said, oh, you should make some meatballs. And I said, I'm gonna make the meatballs and you inspired me to do that. So here you go. That's how this is getting done. So here's to you, Christine Grimes. I wish you were up here, but I think you're vegetarian. Isn't she vegetarian? I think so. Yeah, well, you wouldn't be well, eating them you're making anyway, meatballs. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't be eating them, but. Um, so this is gonna be a very long process. I think you want a tray of meatballs. And magically, we have meatballs on a tray. Yeah. And so, I have my oven on 350, and we are going to put these in the oven. And they're gonna cook for about, I don't know, 30 minutes or more. Preheat your oven. Always preheat your oven. You know, how's the sauce looking? The sauce is looking great. So these are our San Marzano tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And this is our paste. Look at how nice and thick hot. that is yeah. now. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, is that hot? No, not so bad. Ooh, it's yeah, a little we'll hot. Give you a hot yeah. All right, so uh, now we are going to... We have been... Simmering this. This is the tomato paste and the onion, and we are going to now throw that in the pan. And the combination of the two is what makes the sauce. And we did put in basil yep, all of this and the black pepper mm -hmm. and the nutmeg and just a heaping tablespoon of sugar. Look at look at how thick that is. That is so nice and thick. So we're going to put some of the meatballs in the sauce. Voila. Meatballs. Mmm. Beautiful tray. Tray of meatballs. What I'm gonna do is Oh, do you want to have the gnocchis that were? Yeah, that we made last over? week. All right, yep. okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put some of the meatballs in the sauce. Okay. And then some of the meatballs I'm going to leave on the tray to cool. And then put them in a container for the kids. Oh boy, those are really good. Mm. Here's the potato gnocchis that we made last week. And now we're mixing up the meatballs and putting the sauce. Yep, and then, and then here's the other meatballs. Off the bottom. Hmm. We're okay. not going to put in all the oil, but we're putting in all the meat droppings. Oh. Because that also adds flavor to the sauce. Okay. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
add a little flavor. And so now that has to cook for a little bit. That we have plenty of. So we're gonna throw those in the water. Mm -hmm. Those aren't gonna take very long to cook. You don't need to cover long. A few gnocchis for you, a few gnocchis for me, a few mm -hmm. more gnocchis for you. Mm -hmm. One or two meatballs. Um, Mm, two. Two, yeah. Cheese. Mm, here you go. Yes, I would like some cheese. How much cheese? Is that enough cheese? Yep. Okay. 